This is a story from West Africa, from the Edo people of Nigeria, and it's hundreds of years old. It's a wonderful story that tells about um, how human beings used to live in harmony and far more balance with nature. And I also think it's a good reminder of how that balance can be created and destroyed if we're not careful with it. The story is called Why the Sky is So Far Away. I hope you enjoy it. In the beginning, the sky was very close to the earth. In fact, people could stretch up and touch the sky. And what's more, they could eat the sky. They would just be able to put their hands up, take some food out and eat it. It was amazing. The sky provided everything that the people needed. The gifts it would give of food were wonderful and the people never went hungry. Whenever they needed it, they just scooped some food out and ate. Now, this is the way it was for a long, long time. But as time went on, people became, shall we say, greedy. They started to take more than they needed. The people would not only take what they needed to fill their stomachs, they would sometimes take a little bit more. And even some people would take food and just discard it on the floor because they didn't need any more. They thought, it doesn't matter. It's only a bit of waste. No one would mind. But the sky did mind. And the sky became quite sad as this went on for a long time. And that sadness led to resentment and the resentment led to anger. And when the sky got angry, it began to rumble like thunder. And it shouted to the people at the top of its voice. People of the earth! I have given you the gifts of food for so long and you are wasting them. You are discarding my gifts as if they don't matter. If you carry on, I will leave you and go far away. The people were in shock, they couldn't believe it. They looked up at the sky and they said, we're sorry, we're so sorry. We won't let that happen again. We promise we'll be grateful for everything you give us from now on. Please, please, please don't leave us. We need you and we need your food. The sky was happy with this and the people kept their word. They did only take what they needed and they always said thank you for everything they received from the sky. And again, this was how it was for a long time. In fact, people used to celebrate the gifts of the sky every year with a huge celebration. On one particular night, they had the biggest celebration they've ever had. They, gave, they brought in drums and musical instruments. They were singing and dancing and enjoying time around the fire to celebrate the wonderful sky. And the sky was very generous with its gifts. It gave lots and lots of beautiful foods, a feast for everybody. On the night, everyone had a great time and they all had full tummies from the incredible feast that the sky gave them. Everybody was happy and everybody was satisfied. Apart from one person. One lady called Osato. She was the kind of lady who was never really satisfied. Osato had huge copper beads all the way up her arm and the finest pearl necklaces around her neck. She had the most beautiful saffrons and silks on her body and she always, always wanted more. On this night, although Osato had had a wonderful night and eaten lots and lots of food, her tummy was completely full. On the walk home, she kept looking at the sky and at this time of the evening it was a kind of red sky, it was beautiful. And she kept looking and wondering what it would taste like right now. She started to lick her lips and her mouth was watering. And she just couldn't help herself. She just stretched up and took just a little bit. Oh, it tasted so good. Oh, it was sweet like berries. It was like floating in a cloud. I couldn't believe how good it tastes. And even though she'd had more than enough for the day, she decided she wanted a bit more. So she took another scoop. 
Oh, and another one. Mm. Mm. Oh, 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 it's so good. And in the end, she pulled down a huge slab of sky onto the floor. She looked up and there was a big hole in the sky. She looked down at the big slab of food and panicked. I can't waste food. The sky will be angry. She called over her family, her children and her husband. Please, come and help me, come and help me eat this. They tried, but they had full tummies as well. She was calling over the whole village. You must help me, you must help me. We cannot waste this food. Please, please help me eat it. They tried, but everyone was full up. There's no way they could eat it all. And even with all their efforts, there was still a huge slab of sky on the floor. Osato was worried. Nobody slept that night. Osato said to everyone, I'm sure it will be okay. Um, it's only one, one night of waste. The sky won't mind. But the feeling in the pit of her stomach told her differently. That night, Osato couldn't sleep. She lay looking at the sky all night. And indeed, morning did come. And no food was provided. Nobody had breakfast. Children were crying hungry. Nobody knew what to do. Osato knew it was her fault. She ran outside and she prayed and begged to the sky. Please, please sky, I'm so sorry for my waste. Please, please, please give us some food. We are all hungry. There was silence and the sky just slowly started to move away above the treetops. No, 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 please sky, don't go, don't go. I am so, so sorry, I won't do it again. Still, the sky rose higher and higher above the mountain peaks. Please don't go, we need you, we will be hungry. The sky rose higher and higher and higher, far, far out of reach of the people. Please, please, what will we do? We will be hungry without you. How will we survive? There was silence. Osato was crying. Her tears fell to the ground, onto the soil below her feet. What will we do? From the earth came a voice. It's okay. I will feed you. What? Osato couldn't believe it. The voice came up from under her feet. I will feed you. I will give you everything you need. The earth said. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving us another chance. Things are different now, the earth said. You will have to work for the food I give you. It will not be for free. Okay, okay, that's fine, Osato said. That's fine. And the earth told them, told Osato, that if they were to work hard, if they were to harvest their food, then the earth will give them everything they need. It also told her to learn from their mistakes and not take more than they needed. Osato went and told the whole village of this. She told the story of how the sky has gone, but the earth will now provide everything we need. We just have to work for it. This was a shock for the people, but they accepted it. And they told everyone, they told all of their children, and the message passed around everybody. And from that day, people did have to sow seeds. They had to plough the fields and harvest their food. They had to work hard every day to feed themselves. But the earth was true to its word. It gave the people everything they needed to survive and to live. It fed them every day for their hard work. And the people, after the sky left them, were always grateful for the food they received from the, from the earth. And they always said thank you and never took more than they needed. This handed down to their children and their children grew up and handed this down to their children. The story was shared and people knew how to get their food and they knew to never take more than they need. And now, I'm telling this story to you. <laughs>